success and calls the sense and love and change will cloy and she became a bore intense unto her lovesick boy with fitful glimmer burnt my flame and I grew cold and coy at last one morning I became another's lovesick boy Tinker tank, 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 tinker tank. At last one morning, I became another's love. Silence in court and all attention lend. Behold your judge in due submission. But I was as many young ballasts as I An impecunious party On a swallowtail coat of a beautiful blue And a brief which I bought of a booby A couple of shirts and a collar or two And a ring that looked like a ruby A couple of shirts and a collar or two And a ring that looked like a ruby At Westminster Hall I danced a dance Like a semi-despondent fury For I thought I should never hit on a chance Of addressing a British but I soon grew tired of third-class journeys and dinners of bread and water. 
So I fell in love with the rich attorney's elderly ugly daughter. So I fell in love with the rich attorney's elderly ugly daughter. The rich attorney, he jumped with joy, replied to my fond professions. You should rip the water, he pluck me, boy, the Bailey in middle successions. You'll soon grow used to a look, said he, and a very nice girl, you'll find her. She may very well pass for 43 in the dust with the light behind her. She may very well pass for 43 in the dust with the light behind her. The rich attorney was as good as his word. The breeze came through being gaily, and every day my voice was heard. The sessions of ancient Bailey, all these who could my fees afford, relied on my orations. And many a burglar I've restored to his friends and his relations. And many a burglar he's restored to his friends and his relations. At length I grew as rich as the gannies, and Nicky Miss then I thought her. So I threw over that rich attorney's elderly ugly daughter. The rich attorney, my character high, tried vainly to disparage. No! But yes! And now, to please, I'm ready to try this breach of promise of marriage. And now, you please, he's ready to try this breach of promise of marriage. For an I'm a judge. And a good judge, too. Yes, and I'm a judge. And a good judge, too. Go on, my lovely fudge, yet I'll never, never budge, but I'll live and die a judge. And a good judge, too. It was managed by a judge. And a good job, too. It was managed by a judge. And a good job, too. It is pinned to the mob that my being made a no. Was effected by a job and a good job. Swear thou the jury, kneel, jury men, oh, kneel. Swear by yonder skies, whatever question may arise, twixt rich and poor, twixt low and high, that you will well and truly try. To all of this we may reply, to all of this we may reply, by the dull slate of yonder sky, that we will well and truly try. I will well and truly try. Where is the plaintiff? Let her now be brought. Oh, Angelina. Come thou into court, Angelina, Angelina, Angelina. <laughs>
listen, I pray, though I own that my heart has been ranging. Of nature the laws I obey, for nature is constantly changing. The moon in her face is a sound, the time, the wind, and the weather. The months in succession come round, and you don't find two more days together. a reasonable proposition to which I think your client may agree. But I submit none with all submission to marry to at once is burglary. Ah, very true. In the reign of James the Second. It was generally reckoned as a rather serious crime to marry two wives at a time. the stage it don't appear that we can settle it if I'm to wed the girl I'm love a breach will surely be and if he goes and marries both it counts as burglary a nice a nice Ever increasing my loss 
I shall ever deplore. Oh, see what a blessing, what love and caressing I've lost and remember and pray. When you I'm addressing, I'm busy assessing the damages Edward must pay. Yes, he must pay. I spoke like a furnace, I'm always in liquor, ruffian of all the assault. I'm sure I should thrash her, perhaps I should kick her, I am such a very bad lot. I am not prepossessing, as you may be guessing, she couldn't endure me a day. Recall my professings when you are assessing the damages Edwin must pay. Yes, he must pay. Gentlemen is one of liquor. You ask for guidance. This is my reply. He says when tipsy, he would thrash and kick her. Let's get him tipsy, gentlemen. And try. With all respect, I do object. I do object. I don't object. With all respect, I do object. I do object. I don't object. With all respect, I do object. With all respect, I do object. All the legal theory sees you, no proposal seems to please you. I can sit up here all day, I must shortly get away. Barristers and you attorneys, get out on your homeward journey. Gentle, simple-minded Russia, get you if you like to Russia. Put my briefs upon the shelf, I will marry her myself. <laughs> And you, I've doted to castle moated, away we go. I wonder whether they'll live together in marriage tether, in manner true. It seems to me, sir, of such as she, sir, a judge is he, sir, and a good judge too. Oh, oh joy, unbounded, with well surrounded, the hell is sounded, a grief and woe. Defending this is not. Defending this is not. 